Welcome back to another video, you guys. We are making my favorite today, some shrimp ceviche. Whoop, whoop. All right, this is super simple, you guys. Okay, as you can see here, I am juicing four big juicy limes. And you wanna put that in a bowl container, whatever you're gonna mix it in, okay? And then we're gonna start with our shrimp. I've already peeled, deveined, and cut up in little small chunks. And we're actually gonna cook them in the lime juice. Yeah, buddy. All right, that's gonna be so good. And then I am cutting up my red onion also because I want the shrimp and the red onion both to pick up on that lime juice flavor so it can be good and delicious and mm, you guys get the point. Okay, so then next I am chopping up my cucumber. You can use the regular cucumber and then just take the seeds out or leave them in. It's totally up to you, your preference. And of course, I'm going in with some heat. I'm adding a whole serrano chili pepper, seeds and all, cause I love spice, so give it to me. <laughs> okay, and then I am adding some tomatoes and you guys know the drill from my other video. Take the insides out or leave them. Totally up to you. And then just chop that up. Look how juicy and red those tomatoes look. Mm -mm -mm. By the way, I do feel freaking dangerous with that knife. Look how big that chopper is. <laughs> okay, so here I am shredding up some carrots. And I know this isn't traditional in ceviche, but hey, this is how my mom taught me how to make it, and this is how I've always loved to eat it. So, yeah. <laughs> and I use about like four or five baby carrots. You can use regular carrots and just shred them in a cheese grater like this or you can leave it out, it's up to you. I just like it because it, it adds more color and more crunch and flavor and all that jazz. Okay. Well, and by the way, you guys, if you guys are iffy about cooking the shrimp in the lime juice and having it be raw, which it, it actually isn't because the lime juice is acidic and it um, cooks the shrimp, you can always boil it in some water for like three minutes, let them cool down, and then just cut them up in small pieces. That'll work perfectly fine. Seasoning, I'm only adding some salt, some tapatio, and the secret ingredient, some oregano, you guys. I know, this is not traditional either. Or actually, I don't know, but I know my mom uh, always has used the oregano in the ceviche. And it just gives it a whole depth of flavor, and I love it. I love it. Look how good those colors look. Mmm. <laughs> this is so good, you guys. And you guys can serve this either on top of a tostada or with some chips on the side and just dip it with some avocado, tapatio, lime juice, because that's how I like to eat it. I don't like to put it on the tostada because it gets soggy afterwards. Look. And just put it in the fridge for like 30 minutes so it can finish, you know, marinating. And, and then once that's done, let me show you what it looks like. Look at that, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you for tuning in.